Hi and welcome back to AstroPix. Today's video is all about mosaics and how to export your panels from Telescopius into Astrophotography Tool. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm sure there's many out, out there like me who actually prefer to use astrophotography tool to Nina. I have tried Nina, it's a great piece of software, but I'm just so familiar with APT that I've, I've stuck with them and, and I'm really pleased to uh, announce that uh, I found a way that you can export your telescopious panels from mosaics into astrophotography tool. Um, I've not had a, actually had a go at testing this on a night yet, so this is actually um, something I'm gonna plan in now. Uh, ready for when Orion does rise like a, a lot of you out there I'm sure that you'll uh, love to be able to get the horse head and the Great Orion Nebula all in one field of view without um, kind of stretching the image uh, boundaries too far by using lenses etc and making the most out of your telescope so how to do it first of all you need to locate your target up Orion here we go Orion Nebula and as, um, this is set up for my Altair 26C and my William Optics GT81, the, the uh, flattener and reducer on it. And it, it absolutely frames Orion beautifully. But so, what if I wanted to bring in the horse head as well? So, let's have a look at a panel. So, I'm going to try two by two. So, that's four panels in total. And you can see that. You know, it's fitting in quite nice, not quite there. So I'm going to try two across and three down. And there we go, we've got six panel mosaic there. You've got the, the fantastic belt of Orion in there as well. And obviously the Orion Nebula fitting in nice. You could go to eight panels, but then, you know, that's, that's, that's a lot of work. Um, but I'm sure it'd be worth it. But six panels, you know, you probably need to do maybe one, two panels an evening that the nights are long enough during the winter months to get a good good session in and I'll, I'll probably do this over three nights do do two panels per night um, I might also stretch it longer than that and do um, some colour imaging and then some narrow band imaging and just seeing if I can merge the two together but we'll see what kind of availability of um, dark, dark skies and clear skies I get so you've got your panels there and you're happy with those and you've set your, your framing up to where you want it you go back into the panel bit here and you scroll down and there'll be a download um, CSV file there so I'm going to click on that and that's been now downloaded next thing you want to do is open up your um, APT and you're going to go to your objects list and at the bottom there is an import list and there you have it mosaics from telescopia so you click on that click OK find your plan import it in and it's telling me there six six panels have been imported which is right scroll down your list and in true blue peter style there's some I prepared earlier um, just to check that it all worked okay and here we have it so you've got your six panels there starting there now if you really want to be really clever you can use your script editor in the plan editor to, to just automatically slew to each panel through the night if you did want to leave it overnight not something I want to do um, but I'm sure there's some people out there who like leaving their gear out all night and you might be able to get all six panels done over an evening but for me I only get a limited view of Orion um, so I'd, it's not something I can leave running all night it, has to, it dances across the rooftops behind my house so I have a very limited window on Orion so I want to try and make the most of it when I can but it's, it is as easy as that I'd be really interested if you let me know how you get on you try the uh, the mosaic functionality here in APT so uh, good luck with it. I wish you all clear skies and I shall speak to you all again soon. Thanks for watching. 